Now, latest coming in, Israel's war cabinet has given a go-ahead to new guidelines to revive truce talks with Hamas. The cabinet unanimously agreed to the fresh guidelines laid out for Israeli negotiators in an effort to resume dialogue on a hostage for truce deal. The meeting was held after the families of hostages released footage of the abduction of five female soldiers by Hamas, asking the leadership to work more urgently to secure their release. The Israeli government has not shared the details of the truce talks guidelines, but the Prime Minister's office said that the War Cabinet has ordered the negotiating team to continue talks for the return of the hostages. Meanwhile, the chief of the Israeli National Security Council has underlined that the Israel government has failed to achieve any of its goals of the Gaza war during a briefing to the Israeli Foreign Affairs and Security Committee. He said, and I'm quoting, Israel neither could topple Hamas nor could ensure that the residents of Gaza returned to their homes safely. He added that the Israeli forces will take years to realize these goals. He also said that the cabinet did not set any clear dates, targets or strategic goals for the north. Now, correspondent Jody Cohen senses a report on the negotiations taking place behind the scenes. So a UK-based Arabic newspaper is reporting that Egypt is in contact with Israel and Hamas to restart the talks. Now, I spoke with Prime Minister spokesperson Tal Heinrich on Wednesday, who indicated behind the scenes conversations are ongoing between the parties and the mediators to try to revive the negotiations, although she couldn't tell me what was being said or how those conversations were happening. Now, on Wednesday night, Israel's war cabinet approved Israel's negotiators to continue talks and new guidelines for the negotiating team. That announcement came after a harrowing video was aired of Hamas taking five young female soldiers hostage. Now, the girls aged 18 to 19 are in non-combat roles and include young peace activist Naamar Levy. And in the video, the girls can be seen bloodied with their captors saying that these are the girls that Hamas can get pregnant. Now, Prime Minister Netanyahu said that he was shocked by this video, that the government will continue to do everything to bring the 128 hostages home and that the brutality of the Hamas terrorists only strengthens his determination to ensure that Hamas can never do this again. For all the latest news, download the Vyond app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.